Okay, hello everybody and thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Logan Stevens and I'm from the Telluride High School. Uh, Angela? Uh, my internship was at the University of Houston at, in the Department of Chemistry and uh, that's the building I worked in. And uh, I was in Steve Baldelli's surface lab and uh, it had multiple departments but the ones I used most were the chemical lab on the left and then the optics lab where they took all the laser measurements and such. And then my project purpose over the six weeks was to understand how this bond here works. So it's, uh, this is an alkane thiol molecule and what the thiol means is it has a sulfur head at the end and that's what that yellow sphere is. And uh, specifically what my goal was was to understand how this bond works or how it changes under the presence of electrical current and how you can determine that with electrical current was to uh, run various voltages through the sample and uh, monitor the variation in resistance and that can tell you kind of what's happening at the surface. So uh, to start this process the first thing we had to do was to uh, actually create the disk that we would put the sample on and to do that we used a process called physical vapor deposition. So um, that's me right there on the left standing next to an evaporation machine. And how that works is it evaporates gold onto silicon disks above so the gold kind of floats up, gold particles stick on the disk and it rotates until you get a nice 100 nanometer thick layer on the surface. Um, the next step was to create the stamps that we'd, we would actually print the patterns on the samples with. So all the way to the left there is a uh, PDMS stamp over the mastered pattern. So to get the stamp, you just take a razor blade and cut out around the pattern. And then you'd stamp the sample with that pattern. And if you did it correctly, you would get a nice uniform pattern of whatever molecule was on the stamp on the sample. Another way to create a layer of molecules was just to soak it in a solution that had the alkane thiol in it. And uh, if you soaked it for like a day or two, you would get a nice even layer. Um, and then to study that layer, uh, I used a process called a lipsometry. And uh, this is a manual lipsometry right here. It ha it's also special because it has imaging capabilities so you can see your sample. Uh, and in case you couldn't figure it out from this picture, there's a simple diagram over there to kind of explain how it works. So basically, you shoot a laser at your sample and uh, the t it bounces into a detector. And from that detector, you get delta, which is the triangle and then psi, the pitchfork. And from those values, you can fit them to a mathematical model and then find the thickness of the sample. And then uh, with this ellipsometer, you could see the sample, and as you can see on the bottom left there, that's what the pattern actually looked like uh, on the gold. So. Um, we didn't actually get to finish the experiment because it took too long, and um, that's kind of one of the things I learned about science is it takes a long time. So, um, yeah, but I still, that's, that was important because I learned how science works in the real world. Um, and I feel like you can learn a lot from, you know, AP science classes at school conceptually, but you never really learn how those concepts are applied in real life. And I feel like the big picture I got from this internship was how those concepts are applied, and I'm really grateful for that. Um, I'd like to give a special thanks to my mentor, Dr. Baldelli, and uh, those members of the group for helping me along the way. And then, of course, to Sarah Holbrook, um, because I never would have had this opportunity without her help. So uh, thanks again for coming, and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the presentations. So.